Well, hey there, Paul Paul Chronicles. Welcome to Paul Paul Chronicles and more with Jim. And hello out there in Paul Paul uh, Chronicle Facebook group. I'm going to share this video on both forums. Now, something that I wanted to talk to you about is, is uh, I want to try and share truth. And one of the things is, is not everything is a success, but not everything is a loss. This right here was a seedling tree that I attempted to uh, convert over to a Potomac. Uh, it had one graft down in the bottom that was a mango. And I wasn't happy with what I saw. So I decided, you know what, let's do something a little different here. Uh, I put nine pieces of scion wood into this tree. And out of the nine pieces of scion wood I put into this tree, only four of them took. Now, at least I got the top it took, this branch took. You got one back here and one right here that took. But I'm not going to give up on this. <clears throat> I had the same thing happen with the sunflower out front, uh, grafts that didn't take. And what I did was, is I revisited uh, the tree a year later and added grafts to it. And now that tree is looking fine, it's doing good. So that tree was grafted in 2020 and then again in 2021. And it looks like I may have to end up doing the same thing with this one. Now these grafts that did not take, that are not pushing bud, I'm just going to leave them alone. I'll leave them right where they are. And next year, uh, I'll come out here and try to redo things a little bit. The grafts that did take, they are there. They're not getting moved. They're, there's nothing going to happen to those. But normally what I'll do is, is I won't allow anything to grow. But you know, like right here, we have a leader branch. This main leader. And you know that's what I like to graft into. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna allow below this graft, this leader branch, I'm gonna go ahead and allow a little bit of green to grow. And that's so it can continue to feed the root system and hopefully we can keep this branch fresh to a degree as far as in decent shape and I'll do the same thing with this one this one this one and this one back here I'll probably just cut it off it's just a small branch but the thing about it is, is I'm not going to give up on it it's going to take me another time to come out here and say hello to it and I don't have any more of the Potomac uh, Scion wood available to try to rectify it right now but I can go ahead and uh, make a plan for next year now like I said you know I have failures just like everybody else does we, we would like to say every story is a success story but in reality not every story pans out as success. I mean, we do have some success, but we have failure also. And it was just something that I wanted to share with you. Although, one thing I will say that I've noticed about the Potomac, in which I've grafted root suckers on the property and root suckers that I had harvested. The other grafts they took but I tell you what, it takes that Potomac a good while to really try to push. And uh, some varieties are different than others. Now uh, the SAA Overlease, they took off great. And another one that really took off great was uh, Jerry's Big Girl. Those took off extremely well. And the NC1 and, the, and just a plain Overlease. 
They're the ones that took off and did extremely well. And when they took off, they took off quickly. Uh, Wabash, I grafted that this year because I had been told that that one there was kind of hard uh, to graft because uh, uh, not a lot of them will take. So far, all of the wall bash that I've grafted has taken. I've got uh, four of them. One that I put in the fruit garden. I've got uh, one out there in the nursery, grafted onto a root sucker that's still in the bag. And I've got, I'll take that back, there's three of them. I got one out there along the driveway, grafted onto a uh, root sucker and they've all taken off they've all done well but this one right here I have to wait and see maybe you know, I'll come back like I said and revisit like these main branches right here I'm gonna let a little bit of green grow on them and with the idea of keeping this stem fresh I normally don't allow green to grow once I graft, but these limbs, if I don't let something grow out here, they'll dry out, I would imagine. <clears throat> and we don't want that. Another thing I could do is, is put tree wound on the top. I don't know, but I'm just gonna leave it alone. It's just something that I wanted to share with you. Not every story is a success. Anyways, my name's Jim. If you like what you see, subscribe. Any comments or questions that you may have, I welcome. And for the Paul Paul Chronicles Facebook group, I hope you're still enjoying the group. I know I am. Y'all have a God-blessed day.